more on our top story now and the critical role played by the train's owners, Montreal, Maine and Atlantic. Today, the company's president and CEO agreed to sit down with me for an exclusive interview. Because of the growing anger in this community, Robert Grinrod insisted we meet in a secluded place out of the public spotlight. Bob, take me back to Saturday when you arrived here. Um, what was your reaction as you came face to face with the magnitude of this disaster? Um, let's see, we came up on Saturday. Uh, we, uh, there had been a perimeter set up already, so we could only get a considerable distance away. Um, the perimeter to a great extent is still there. I have not seen, because of the perimeter, I have not actually seen the derailment site and the adjacent area where buildings were destroyed and so forth. Um, I, uh, you know, I have very deep sympathies for all the people involved, both those uh, injured uh, uh, and people who have been displaced. Uh, it is uh, not something that uh, one likes to have happen. Uh, and we spend our whole careers trying to prevent things like this. But uh, it has happened and we have to extend our sympathies to all those affected and uh, determine the cause and take corrective action so that nothing like this ever happens again. What role did your company play in this tragedy? Um, I would, uh, uh, just, just to clarify, because I think there may be some misconception out there, uh, we're just a transporter of product. The oil belongs to other people the cars that the oil was in belongs to other people. Our job is to move it from place to place. It isn't our oil. But do you think it's your responsibility to be able to transport this oil oh, safely? Oh, yes. Yes. It's our responsibility. That's, that's what we're here for, is to transport product, any product, uh, with uh, utmost safety and uh, any sort of an accident is uh, taken very seriously and you study it and you uh, uh, take correct, corrective action as a result of your study. I know you're waiting for the information. I know you don't have all the answers. But in this information void, a lot of people in this town are starting to blame the company. I'm just wondering if you are right now preparing for the fact that your company is in fact responsible for the accident that happened here. Yes. Yes, we're responsible in some fashion. All I'm saying is perhaps we're not solely responsible, but obviously we have a response level of responsibility here because it was our train that is a train operated by us. And uh, uh, there are maybe all kinds of additional factors and extenuating circumstances, but, the, but uh, some level of responsibility comes back to us no matter what. I was speaking to someone today at the coroner's office and she was describing about you know, the workers, the teams going through there looking for DNA to be able to identify the victims in here. The family, they're waiting for answers. What do you, what do you say to those families? I can't imagine the level of your loss. Uh, obviously I've had relatives who have died myself. Uh, uh, there are no words uh, that I can offer that will uh, make it better, uh, but please uh, accept our heartfelt sympathies and our condolences. Uh, there isn't any way to turn the clock back. The only, the only person who could do that is God, and uh, no human power can do that. Uh, it will haunt me the rest of my life and always be with me. And I'm sure it will with several other people in town, uh, you know, who lost loved ones and uh, 
uh, of friends, family, and so forth. There isn't anything I can say that will make it any better.